Hi everybody, welcome to YS Kong Driving yet again and today we have this beautiful Volkswagen Passat yeah? Now, the, there are two models available here They have the base high line which is 195,000 something and then they have another one with what you call the sound and style package that has extra accessories and stuff and this is the one that is like that and it's 211,000 ringgit so it's a 16,000 ringgit difference but right now it's November and it's end of the year so right now Volkswagen are having some kind of offer so check out the offer now yeah what you can get before Christmas as your Christmas present okay so what does this car come with first of all it has five years a warranty with unlimited mileage and also five years of uh, roadside assistance yeah also uh, the engine is basically what you find in the golf gti it's a two liter double overhead cam turbocharged and it's a direct injection to boot so what kind of horsepower are you getting you're getting 220 horsepower and also 350 newton meters of torque that's a lot of torque so when you see our car on the gunting run you see what this means yeah and of course drive is to the front wheels through a six speed wet clutch dsg which is direct shift gearbox yeah and of course it comes with pedal shifters and also a few driving modes for you to choose from so this is in reality a very very sporty car All right, Zach, can we open the bonnet? Hi, Captain. <laughs> okay, Zach's opening the bonnet for us. We will take a look at the car engine compartment. Let's open the bonnet and let's see. Oh, yes, this has a shock absorber. So, this is a bit of high class, yeah? And checking the material, it feels like it's aluminium, yeah? It's quite light. And here is the engine. This is the 2 liter TSI direct injection. It has 220 horsepower and also 350 newton meters of torque. So you can see here the intake is in the front, and you can see here is also a drive by wire throttle body. And over at the back, you can see the turbocharger. Okay, that's the turbocharger. And it's quite a big turbocharger, yeah? Alright, so You can also see that this is double overhead cam And this is direct injection engine, but you can't see that But anyway, this is a lightweight aluminium engine And here is the intake And the intake is over here This is where the intake of the engine is Over here, so it's quite high You don't have to worry so much about flash floods yeah and this is the ECU the computer all right so here again you see the continental cars they cut the inside there to save weight so that's the engine and also viewing it from the side you can see that the engine sits just in front of the front wheels okay that is to keep the balance okay let's take a quick look around the car on the front, you see this very Volkswagen grille and it's very, very wide, yeah? This car is quite wide and it is 1832mm wide. It is also 4767mm long and the height is only 1.456 and uh, the wheelbase is 2791 mm which means this car is actually more than a c and less than a d segment car so it's actually quite a big car yeah and so in terms of proportion you can call this a europeans will call this a medium size sedan but we will call it a big yeah so it's in between medium and big and uh, it looks pretty pleasing to the eye now headlights are LED and uh, 
The Volkswagen branding is very prominent in the front. And then you also have LED daytime running lights. Okay, along the sides, we have a look at the front suspension. It's uh, McPherson struts. Looking at the tyres, these are Continental Contact MC5s. And the tyre size is 235 stroke 45 r18 okay these are 18 inch tires and they actually are quite good yeah and at the front you will see a single floating caliper with ventilated disc okay so these are disc brakes and they are pretty good they didn't fail at all and then at the back they are the same size tires and also a uh, single floating caliper with solid disc and it's a multi-link suspension at the back you can't see it very clearly but i can see it from here so it's my first struts in the front multi-link at the back a very good setup for independent suspension and over at the back this is also led combination lights and this is you can see here passat with the 380 TSI, that is the nameplate they have for the 2 liter. And here is the view of the car from the back. Looks pretty nice. Let's just open the boot. Yes, there's a power boot. And it opens up and you get, believe me, 586 liters of boot space. This is huge. It goes all the way inside, see? You can pull it out and you can put the big suitcase that way. So it's a huge boot and uh, look at this. This is a very thoughtful feature. You hook this up here. Look, okay, it's made that way that you can hook it. There's a hook here. You hook it on that thing and it holds this thing up. Very irritating when you're trying to take something yeah, in your boot. And oh my gosh, this is a full size spare tire. They could have put in a space saver and given you even more boot space, but they didn't need to, yeah. So this is the boot and the spare tire. Well, wow, it's huge. You can put a lot of things inside here. Yeah. Okay, so that's the boot. And what else do we see? I see a socket down there. That's a 12 volt socket for you to Put in your stuff. What's this string? Ah! <laughs> this string here is... This is a new iteration of the tapa hook, man. Look, it just hangs there. You pull it down and you can put your fry kwetiao here. Or your rambutans. Alright, not bad. And this is what you use to... I'm going to pull this one, yeah? See what happens. Ah! The seat... <laughs> goes down and let's pull this one yeah and it's gone down too and here's another thing which I want to show you is very thoughtful to have this bar here see how the bonnet closes the boot closes yeah and it goes down there so you know that if you're putting any luggage in you won't be this part won't be fouling any part of the luggage when it's going down so that's the peace of mind you get and this is the boot area and extended it gives you a bit more space lah. and then it also has an electric boot very convenient to close and there's a vacuum lock how nice okay here's a trick we learned from the car this is the key fob i'm going to press unlock and i'm going to hold i hold the glass will wind down Okay, so that's a pretty neat trick, yeah? And then if I want it to wind up, what I do is I press the lock, yeah? Just now I press the unlock, press and hold. And the door will lock and the glass will wind up. So that's very useful if you are parked in the sun and you need to cool down for at least for a few seconds before you get into the car. So, okay. So this is also... Uh, you can also get into the car by just touching here 
and it's open and here we are so first thing about the car is look at the door opening angle okay this is a car that is well thought of the door opens to a wide angle so you can get in and out easily and let's look at the back same thing yeah it also opens quite wide it's about 80 odd degrees so you can see the car is a big car and looking at it from the outside you see of course electric seats with two memories yeah and you can set the memory and there is i think there's at least a 10-way uh, adjustment and then you have the steering you can see steering is adjustable for both reach and tilt and then seats are nice and soft leather okay that's my camera mount there yeah don't worry about that and the headrest is pretty nice and you have inside wood paneling that is continued so it starts from actually from the door then it goes across the dashboard and then it goes through to the passenger door and it also extends to the back the back yeah so that wood trim gives it a touch of class and let's get into the car and we'll start the engine okay i'm in the car and i'm going to press the start button which is actually start button is located here yeah then let's look at the welcome screen the key is there start step on the brake oh and the seat moves forward yeah the seat and steering or oh, the steering doesn't move the seat moved uh, into the memory that it was last set yeah so this is the good part and also there is the screen that shows navigation you can toggle to different different stuff okay let's see okay so you can get your fuel consumption data you can check uh, that is the consumption and idling oil temperature which is 88 degrees you tell you your speed and your average speed which shows we went 61 tells you your distance you travel 139 and travel time we took 2 hours 15 minutes the range is 350 kilometers left this is a 66 uh, liter fuel tank yeah we have maybe about half uh, average and so that's the information and then you toggle you can have your lane assist this is deactivated okay we don't need lane assist Okay, then you have navigation, yeah? So you can have the navigation there and then you press the toggle, you get bigger meters, press it again, it goes smaller meters. So depends on what you want to see, right? So that's a very nice screen up there. And over here inside, down at the bottom, you are at the center, you have another screen. It gives you your average readings and it also, this tells you about a car vehicle status start stop uh, this is the name of the dealership uh, you can select voice. voice okay I see so you have think blue trainer it tells you how to drive yeah so selection uh, driving data it tells you how much you've done also uh, convenience consumers air conditioning yeah how much you're doing and spot Ha! It's got a performance monitor. It tells you your boost pressure. This one looks like a timer. And this one is the temperature. See, and also the screen sort of responds to you. If you put your hand near, it gets bigger. Right? And also, of course, you have phone connection and your radio. And it has Apple CarPlay and Android uh, connectivity. Yeah? So the aircon slats are quite wide and stretched across so the aircon uh, is very nice and also there's an additional one here the door lock for the driver 
and unfortunately there is no door lock for the passenger okay looking down here you have your driving modes okay you press the driving mode okay this is like in the golf r here now it's a uh, better okay i'm going to press again it's better arranged eco comfort normal sport individual so you can select which mode you want yeah and also the most important one for me here is this this is off for the auto start stop system we deactivate okay and of course here is your your gear shift positions yeah you can shift uh, to d then you can go to the left and that gives you plus minus if you want and then you can stay on auto if you want okay so you can move to sport mode or drive mode just by pushing on the lever very simple and then down here you have your electronic handbrake and of course this auto hold with auto hold you can put into drive and you can go stop on a slope and let go of the brakes and as long as you stay in gear the car will not move so further down here you have your aircon temperature and this sinks you unsink it you can do individual temperature you sink it the temperature changes at the same time yeah this is the menu uh, for auto you press auto and uh, also this is the left hand side temperature and also the demister for switches for you to demiss the glass and of course this is the aircon on and off switch right and also if you come into the car and you're very hot you have max aircon so what it does is it turns your aircon to maximum yeah so anyway over here you have uh, uh, up here the this is the touch screen you can go to radio okay we're going to turn the volume down because of copyright issues media you can connect your source okay select what you want how you want to connect then we have navigation of course and traffic okay no traffic reports on this uh, but it also tells you shows you the map okay of course you have phone connectivity vehicle stuff and this is app connect you can connect any device okay android auto uh, apple carplay or mirror link okay, and you see how the screen changes as you go put your hand near it okay let's take radio okay i'm going to put my hand near what happens it changes no it doesn't <laughs> okay sometimes it does that so anyway this car is quite well appointed yeah and also up here you have all the switches for your rear lights your front reading lights these are all led yeah left and right up to you and yeah there's no sunroof though but uh, okay let's take a look from the back but before we go to the back just to show you the pedal shifters are here this is the plus and this side is the minus and let's test the horn okay that's quite a nice horn all right we're going to move to the back of the car so we can see better okay so we are sitting in the back of the car and uh, this is the rear aircon so this is a three zone control yeah two zones in front and one zone at the back and you can control the temperature at the back and but you can't control the speed of the fan though okay so the sp fan speed is fixed determined by the front and let's look look at the leg room okay i am sitting here in the seat and there is plenty of leg room yeah this is a c plus segment it is huge and at the back you also get uh, two reading lights also led and let's look at the front so looking at the front this is what you see so it's pretty well appointed and you can see the steering wheel is flat bottom and that's the center console and the clock and then this is the dashboard okay looking down you get to see the gear lever and the handbrake and also the drink holders and this is a console box that can be opened so and over at the back you can see little tweeters there and in terms of airbags i think there are six because there are two here and on the seats and also in the front so there are six airbags and of course uh, there are four oh my god handles 
Actually, this one is totally the one on the right above the driver is totally unnecessary, but they have it, so it's okay. And then, of course, you have your adjustable height, which is a very good point, and also a little coat hook at the back, plus the all important oh my god handles these handles are very very important for passengers okay so here is the okay i just want to show you oh, that's my camera mount uh this is the adjustable headrest oh yeah the headrest can slide back and forth yeah it can slide back and forth so it's pretty good same here press the button and you can slide the headrest back and forth so you can adjust it to your neck preference okay the back seat is quite comfortable let's get back outside the car again yeah you have your bottle holders at the bottom and uh, okay here's the look at the floor it's not a flat floor that's where the exhaust goes through and some other parts i think and then you see the back seat is also soft leather and it's very well contoured with some black or gray st stitching three headrests and also a uh, very nice tie support here so there is plenty of leg room and head room okay here is how the seat opens and for long stuff you can open this one up and stick the long stuff through okay so that's the seat can it recline no it can't it's a fixed angle seat but it's pretty nice for family yeah okay so overall looking at this yeah the car is quite well appointed and uh, in terms of price, it's only 211000 and it's got so many things. Okay, in terms of uh, driving aids, yeah, the go-kart handling uh, of the Passat is due to the way it's constructed, very much like the Golf. And on top of that, it has, of course, DCC, which you saw, the dynamic chassis control that allows you to control the chassis, and also the engine performance and on top of that it gets very good grip around the corners because it's got this electronic diff lock yeah and uh, this helps to lock the wheels together and transfer grip from left to right to give you the best traction around the corners and of course it has lane keep assist which we turned off and this lane assist comes with steering correction and uh, also uh, there are power sockets for front and back and there's also a powered rear sunshade okay and so uh, there's another part of the car which we haven't demonstrated we don't know if we can find the time or space to do it and that is called the park assist this car will park itself for you with a little bit of help of course but if you are the type of person who has difficulty parking a car this might be something that you would want so that's about it for the Volkswagen Passat don't forget to check out the offers that Volkswagen are having right now because it's near end of year so try and get yourself the best deal until we meet again bye bye so once we're on the subject of Volkswagen because we're in a Passat right now yeah uh, it's end of year and of course companies, car companies are trying to uh, maximize the sales numbers so they can get good Christmas bonus yeah and so because of that between now and 31st of December this year if you book a car and get it registered yeah between now and that time uh, provided it's a Passat or a Tiguan there's offer on these two models yeah you will get an additional two years of free service the standard free maintenance service already three years and you get another two years on, on top of that so for five years you don't have to worry about maintaining your car okay and how much is this two years worth it's worth about three thousand ringgit that's additional three thousand ringgit off the cost of your car right 
and uh, in terms of financing uh, Volkswagen is also promoting a special rate of 1.88 percent and uh, the normal interest rate is uh, 2.5 and how much do you save if you do that okay assuming a Passat you take a 90 percent loan and 10 percent down payment and you take the loan over nine years the savings you will save will be about 9,600 ringgit yeah so you will save 9,006 plus 3,000 dollars on the service and on top of that they'll give you another 4,000 uh, rebate on your purchase price so you will get a total of 12,006 plus 4,000 that's 16,600 ringgit worth of savings if you buy your car between now and December 31st so get to a Volkswagen dealership as quick as you can and Sign up for your car, man. Alright, so now that I've introduced all the good deals to you, if you like it, give it a like, yeah? And so, till we meet again, bye-bye.